Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good evening. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. We do need your help to find a man here. He's accused of sexually assaulting a woman on Detroit's west side. Police say the victim was waiting at a bus stop near Schoolcraft in Greenfield when the man approached her. She says he pulled her into an alley and sexually assaulted her before running off. If you recognize this man, please contact Detroit Police. And you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers 1-800-SPEAK-UP. A 16 year old girl accused of making a threat against Woodhaven High School is locked up. Brownstown police took her into custody. Investigators say the threat was posted on Friday morning, but it's not credible. The superintendent released a statement saying the threat will be treated as seriously as possible. Detroit police are asking for help finding a missing woman. Latasha Jackson was last seen leaving her home on Lafayette near St. Aubin on Wednesday. She's believed to be driving a 2002 light blue Ford Taurus. Family members say she's in good physical condition, but suffers from hypertension and depression. Jackson was last seen wearing a black bumble jacket and blue jeans. If you've seen her or know where she is, call Detroit police. And a quick check of the weather. It is cold out there, but is, uh, is snow in our forecast? That's what we want to know, Beth. So we're going to stay cold. Matter of fact, overnight temperatures into the mid 20s, but that wind chill is going to be a good 5 to 10 degrees off of that. So overnight will be dry, partly cloudy skies. We'll have some high clouds tomorrow for our Sunday, but Sunday temperature wise is going to reflect our Saturday. Just no snow and the wind's going to settle down quite a bit. You can see as we go through our Sunday, we'll definitely start off in the mid 20s, make our way into the mid 30s by noontime. Afternoon time, most areas will make it into the upper 30s, and I think one or two areas should make it in to about 40 degrees. I did leave the daytime high only at 39 tomorrow, so a mostly cloudy start to your Monday as well, but we'll be into the low 40s. Our next system, Monday night into Tuesday, that could be a little messy on Tuesday. Not expecting a lot of accumulation out of that, but unfortunately, we stay colder than normal for this time of year, but more sunshine comes out by the end of the week. Yeah, and a dry weekend. All right, Beth, thank you. This isn't uh, the health alert you want to hear about right now, right before Thanksgiving, but the CDC says dozens of new cases have been linked to a salmonella outbreak involving raw turkey. So far, at least one person has died. 164 people in 35 states have gotten sick since July. No turkey products have been recalled and people aren't being told to avoid it, but the CDC does want people to make sure they are careful in how they handle the raw turkey and of course make sure to cook it thoroughly. Those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a good night. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.